This video is going to demonstrate to you several things that have to do with hooking up a microphone to a PC, similar to a Macintosh, but we're not going to get into that in this video. We deal with PCs here on campus, and we are dealing with a PC right now. This is my PC, and I'm currently speaking to you in the built-in microphone in my laptop. Now, you should all be aware, and most of you probably know, most of these console computers wouldn't have a built-in microphone. You'd have to hook one in manually. And the reason I started with the built-in microphone is so that you can see this change as I hook up different microphones. So, oftentimes, in Illuminate, we go in and we've hooked up a mic and it just isn't there. And I'm not going to start in Illuminate up here to show you how to find the microphone. I'm actually going to start in Windows because that's the first thing you need to do just to make sure the device is even recognized and coming up on your machine. So then you know if you either have uh, just a setting to change in Illuminate or if there's actually a device problem. Okay, so to get to this area, and it's a very similar path in older versions of Windows too, you would go to the control panel first. Okay, in the control panel, you're going to see a heading called Hardware and Sound. And this is very similar to the way all our machines should look on campus because we're all using Windows 7 now. So using Hardware and Sound, most people generally want to want to click on View Devices and Printers. But if you click in there, you just end up seeing printers and like cameras and phones and other stuff I have connected here to my computer. You don't actually see uh, the menus that will enable you to edit audio stuff. What you need to do is click right on the hardware and sound icon and when you click on right on the hardware and sound icon you can go over here under sound which is the third thing down and click on manage audio devices. Under sounds playback, recording, sounds, communication under sound I should say we're gonna go to recording and see what's happening right now. Right now I'm talking to you on a normal microphone built into a PC. If you were working on a PC um, in one of the classrooms, you wouldn't even have this option because you wouldn't have a built-in one on one of those towers. This is a laptop. So, as I'm talking to you here, I'm plugging in a manual microphone, okay, that plugs into the pink colored microphone eighth inch jack. That little thing that looks like a headphone jack, but it's a different color. And what's happening now is you're hearing me talk on that microphone. You may have heard the audio change slightly, but you'll notice that it actually doesn't pop up in here. When you plug in a microphone like that, it's, it's automatically using the internal sound card and, and processing it through that, so you won't actually see a new device come up in here or install. So if any of you are using wired microphones like that, that you're plugging into the jacks, this is the kind of thing that you're going to be dealing with where it won't pop up and you're going to have to go and make sure that you're choosing the proper mic under here in audio select input device because we're putting sound in and it's going to be whatever microphone is set up on this computer now I'm only showing you guys this that are using laptops so you know that if you have a mic on a laptop and then you plug a microphone into that little eighth inch jack that's usually on the front or the side nothing much will change. It should still continue to work the same way. It's when we plug in USB microphones that if you're still set to the internal microphone or not to the proper one, that I think some people lose their voice. <laughs> not to make an analogy there, but they, they lose their, their connection for their voice to be coming through. So plugging this one in is, is much simpler. If you're already getting sound, you're going to continue to get sound as you plug it in. You'll notice here nothing even changed. Okay, So I'm going to of that one and now you'll see the sound changed a bit you, you should be able to hear it change and I'm, I'm doing this on purpose in a room uh, I'm not on campus right now but I, I chose a room that I thought would have similar reverb or echo to a classroom so you could hear different microphones change as they do that so even this cheap little one I plug in is probably better than the built-in one because it's not it's it, it doesn't have a volume that's overpowering it looks like my levels like a little bit hot here with the built-in one now I'm about to plug in uh, one of our snowflakes. Ooh, what is that that just appeared out of nowhere? What the heck is going on here? Now, with that microphone, usually if you haven't plugged it in in your computer before, it'll stay in so installing device here. I think not even if you haven't plugged it in before, but if you haven't plugged it in since you started your computer that day. It'll need to install the driver for that device, which takes a matter of seconds. And now, if I choose this microphone, and you can see it's the green check is on there as default, you should hear a difference than between my choosing 
this microphone, okay, used its device enable as default. And you can test it to see what's going on. You can change the levels. You can do all kinds of stuff as you click on the mic. Um, set as default. Okay. So this one now is not working anymore. Now I'm getting the sound through the other one. Um, most of the time when you go in here to deal with microphones, if something's not connected and you go in and you don't see an additional microphone here, that's a problem. That means there's a problem with your device. Okay. So if I go back out of here, now that I've connected it, if I go back in, you should actually see the name of it now appear once you've reloaded the window. So then you'll actually know which mic is which. Now I've set my computer internal microphone as default. I want to right click and set this one back as default. Okay, but it'll only be set to default when it's plugged in. Keep in mind, if you do have a laptop, you're, you should always have a mic level if your mic's working, and this is the way to check. So I hope that helps give you guys an idea of how to check to see if your device is working, because that's the first thing you need to do if you're not getting any microphone sound at all, if your voice just isn't coming through, and you'll know because you won't see it creating a level here. Um, so I've chosen the Snowflake as my main mic right now, and I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to leave this area. Now just just to make sure, let's do a quick review here, okay? I'm not going to quiz you guys on this, I promise, but how do we get in there? Control panel, hardware and sound, don't go jumping into devices, okay? Go right on hardware and sound and click on the actual heading, and then go over here and go to manage audio devices. Under manage audio devices, you click on the recording tab and you should see any mics that are currently operational on this machine. In these classrooms, when we don't have uh, microphone sound, if you go in here and you still have the microphone hooked up and you see a level coming through, it's typically because we haven't connected the mic properly in Illuminate. If you go in here and you see nothing, you have a problem with the microphone. So this is specific to USB or direct line through the 8th inch jack little pink hole microphones. Um, we'll be making another video specific to wireless microphones. So this is, ones that you the, this is for ones that you plug in. Okay, so we're going to leave here again. Um, so, so far, we've gone over how to check in Windows to see if my microphone is there and working. It is there, it is working, and I've opted to let the Snowflake be my main mic. And now at this point, it should be a nice little lesson in microphone fidelity because you've heard three different versions of microphones, one built into my computer, one plugged into the microphone jack, a little small thing that I put around my neck, and now, now the Snowflake that you're listening to. So I decide that I'm going to record and illuminate, and I want the snowflake to come up, and I'm, I'm not seeing any level here. Now, this is a, a very, very simple fix, and one thing that, that I know we've all made the mistake of not noticing. Uh, why do I have no level yet? It's probably because I haven't given myself mic privileges. Okay, A lot of times, that's, it's as simple as that. You're not getting a level because you've given yourself no microphone privileges. If you turn this on and illuminate, and you still see no level here, all you need to do is go into Tools, go into Audio, and select your input device. Because oftentimes what happens on these console computers up at the podium in the classrooms... Um, yeah, right, okay. That's, <laughs> I'm glad that happened, actually. I do that all the time. If I don't have the right mic selected, I do it while the mic's on and it won't let you do it. To, in order to get into the audio, um, the Select input, input Device Wizard, you need to have your mic privileges turned off. So turn them on, see if they're working. If there's nothing there, turn them back off. Tools, Audio, Select Input Device. In here, you can see I can either choose my internal mic or my Blue Snowflake. Now, on some of the labs, because they've installed drivers and other people have plugged different mics in there, there's still five or six options in here, even though those microphones aren't plugged in, because those computers are set up to save some of those drivers that way and illuminate. And a lot of times what it'll do is default to the last one someone's used on that machine, and you have to manually go in and say, I want to choose the blue snowflake. Now, having shown you all of this, once you do it a couple times, it's literally a 20 to 30 second process just to check and make sure the right mic is picked. And if you go in there and you see that the right mic isn't showing up, but you know you've plugged it in, that's one of those situations where you need to go into Windows, Control Panel, like I've shown you, get into the audio devices and try and see if the mic is even working. Uh, one solution for that I've found that works once in a while is to restart the machine completely 
and then for some reason, you know, we, we never understand why PCs behave this way, but for some reason then all of a sudden it works. But the majority of the time, if you plug the USB microphone in and it's not recognized by the machine, it's probably because the mic is dead and you need a different mic. Um, but that's, uh, that, that's the most basic form of a lesson on, on making sure your mic is hooked up and connecting it to Illuminate that I can give you. And, and to end this lesson, I will show you one more thing. I'm actually recording right now in the older version of Cam Camtasia, so I can have the newer version of Camtasia up um, and record it. It's, it sometimes runs into errors when you try and re when it tries to record itself. But uh, just like Illuminate, I have an audio setup type wizard, and if I click into there, I can again choose different microphones. And until I plug the blue snowflake in, it wouldn't even have come up here as an option. So. When people run into trouble, it's, it, most of the time it's, it's simply just not picking the right microphone because a lot of these PCs do leave the old microphones in there as choices and then for some reason it'll default to pick one of those because why would it want to make it easier for us, right? So I'm showing you guys that it is that easy. Even if you're using Camtasia, which is, which is going to be a whole other set of videos to teach you how to use this, I just wanted to show you that even a different audio setup wizard will let you select it in a very similar way and keep it quite simple. Uh, so that's your crash course on getting a microphone plugged in and getting it working. And because we call these microphones plug and play, that's as, that's as hard as it should get. It shouldn't get any harder than that. Okay, so uh, for our next video, we'll be going over wireless microphones. I definitely recommend checking that out.